standing, sitting, or leaning against a wall, people packed in to hear about the possible creation of an oil refinery in Duval. Henry Cortinas, a lifelong resident of Bruni, was initially excited about the news. And when you hear the, the promise and the opportunity of new jobs to the area, who wouldn't be excited about that? But setting aside the expected 500 million that could be added to the Duval tax base, environmental experts say it could be bringing much more. I'm seeking facts. While no permit application has been submitted to TCEQ by Raven Petroleum, little is known about what the refinery will actually bring. Yet, environmental engineer Alan Messenger says refineries usually affect the quality of air and water through the chemicals it releases and uses. Uh, the chemicals that will be released range from volatile organic compounds uh, to particulate emissions uh, to sulfur compounds, uh, and among the organic compounds, uh, include chemicals that are uh, potentially uh, cancer-causing. Raised hands and hurled questions represent the uncertainty that remains about this refinery. Environmental attorney Marisa Perales urges people to continue asking their questions, but provide some direction for them. They put their concerns in those comments, and that pro that comment period can, is going to take place simultaneously with the review of the application by TCEQ staff. These expressed concerns can make a difference when TCEQ is deciding whether to grant the permit, deny it, or they can issue the permit but add additional special conditions so that they can make it even more protective to address the concerns that were raised by the public. Until then, residents are fighting to get a better look at what their future might look like in South Texas. If it is a health issue, it is a health issue. Certainly not going to support that. For KGNS. If it's not a health issue, then we need to talk about that. Valerie Gonzalez. So what do we know so far?